What is up everyone? This is Totally Random, back here with another video. So, Brie Larson. Yeah, we got another Brie Larson video. I haven't made one in a while, but uh, I just had to talk about this. So, you know, recently she came up on stage at the MTV Movie and TV Awards to get the Best Fight Award for Captain Marvel. Yeah, and if you don't know what the scene was, if you haven't seen it, it was this like just scene in the movie where her and a bad or her, a friend, you know, that's not a friend, but sort of a fight scene where she's just fighting at all the her former friends. And it's fully CGI, and there's just bad, terrible crap song playing in the background, and it got this award for it, which is stupid because it's 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 literally shot by like a five year old. Honestly, you could just take a camera in there and just anyone could just hold it and film it the way they did it. But at this awards, she brought up with her her stunt doubles. Yeah, her infamous stunt doubles. You know, if you haven't seen my previous videos or even the other videos from other YouTubers about Brie Larson and her retard moment when she went off on Chris Hemsworth for comparing her to Tom Cruise, just Google it and watch it for yourself. I mean, literally, Tom, she, I mean, who, I would love to be compared to Tom Cruise. Chris Hemsworth is, you know, saying, hey, you want to be the next Tom Cruise, you know, that's an honor. But yeah, obviously Brie Larson, that's that's sexist and that's sexist to her and she can't take that. She can't be, she can't, she doesn't like getting told by a white male. So yeah, I'm pissed that Captain Marvel won this award. It did not deserve it. Any other movie deserved it. Dark Phoenix had better fight scenes than this. I'm serious, I'm really serious. Dark Phoenix had way better fight scenes than this. Endgame, as you already know, sure as hell had better than this crap. Before I started recording this, I was thinking about attacking this dumbness once again, but majority of you already know my opinion on Brie Larson and Captain Marvel. I've already said that Captain Marvel is the worst MCU movie to date, and I've constantly said how she's gone complete retard, starting with those less white male comments she made a while ago. If anything, the fact that this movie won this pointless award just shows how these awards don't mean anything, especially if they don't deserve it. Captain Marvel was full CGI. I remember when Black Panther beat Mission Impossible Fallout to some stunt award. And Black Panther was literally all CGI. And the fact that Tom Cruise, the, the amazing Tom Cruise, who does his stunts, you know, freaking almost lost his life filming that movie. It just shows that the awards don't mean that your movie actually had the best fights or stunts. It just shows whichever movie that fits the Hollywood narrative will get the best awards. I'm honestly not surprised at this point that if in next year's Oscars, Captain Marvel gets nominated for some award. Believe me, I'll be pissed off if that happens. I will literally start, I don't know, pigs will start flying. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but I won't be surprised. I really won't be surprised at all. Because it's the SJW media will say it's sexist that a female led movie doesn't get nominated or some other crap. I mean, I can literally already see the headlines. And then we can all see our glorious Brie Larson leading the charge, the dear ex wife. I mean, and, and ABC and Disney are just gonna, they're gonna crumble under this pressure from the media, you know, because they don't wanna be labeled as sexist, racist, all this and that. So obviously, it just feels inevitable that Captain Marvel probably will get nominated for some sort of Oscar award. So at the end of the day, all I can say is that it's probably best to ignore this shit. Just ignore it. Don't even bother turning on the TV to watch the MTV, whatever. Don't even bother watching these award shows. Just turn a blind eye. Every award show in Hollywood has gone woke these days and it shows with their ratings. They always drop further and further every year and yet Hollywood continues to keep going woke. It seems the saying, go woke, go broke, doesn't ring a bell for these Hollywood elites. But anyway guys, that's the video. Not much else to say. You guys already know my opinions on this stuff. It's just pointless at this point to say, you know, oh my goodness, Brie Larson, she another stupid thing, blah, 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 you know? Because we all know she's, she's just an SAW crazy person who's just trying to get her political stuff shoved down everyone's face and you know i get she's trying to create change you know and i'm all for creating change but create change in a way that's not isolating certain groups 
or just taking political shots at other people or saying dumb straight up comments when you talk about less white males because you know you need these white males to go watch your movies to make money but as i said before anyway that's the video let me know what you think do you agree that captain marvel actually deserved the best fight award if you do i mean <laughs> i'm surprised but that's your opinion totally your opinion to agree with that to, or to say that anyway let me your, know your thoughts down below Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell for notifications. Do all that down below. Uh, seriously, hit the bell for notifications if you already subscribed because you won't get notified when I post a video. And YouTube is messing up with their whole algorithm thing and you know recommendations and all this and that, so do that. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links will be down below. And until next time, guys, be amazing.